Hello, my name is Lucas, this is a bit of lit, and I'm here to talk about Africa Risen, a new era of speculative fiction, which was edited by Ogunachovwe, Donald Ekpeki, Zelda Knight, and Cherie Renee Thomas. And this is a great collection of short stories with lots of diverse voices from African authors and African diaspora authors. And it runs through all kinds of genres within speculative fiction, whether it's science fiction um, or fantasy or a kind of folk tale, which has fantasy in it as well. Um, it's really, really fantastic. Um, there are, I believe, 30 or so different stories, and I can't do them all justice to <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time. So I will just pick my five favorite to briefly gush over. For me, I, I thought the whole thing was really great. Um, some stories work better for me than others, and I feel like the best stories were front-loaded at the beginning. Uh, but these are in no particular order, and not the order that you find them in the book either, but The Lady of the Yellow Painted Library by Toby Ogundiran. I apologize if I get anybody's names wrong. Um, this is kind of like a reminder that we should be reading Chinua Chebe, <laughs> who I have not read, I think, if I remember correctly. No, uh, but a librarian uh, recommends reading Things Fall Apart. Um, and then Hounds the Patron, who's our main character, to return it. Uh, and it's kind of scary. Speaking of scary, another story that I really enjoy is Ghost Ship by Tanara Rive Due. I apologize again if I get your name wrong. Uh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> One of my nightmares. Um, there's a smuggling mission to America uh, that goes horribly, horribly wrong. And the name Ghost Ship should be taken quite literally. Who is hammering? Why? Of all the times. There was no hammering earlier. I don't understand. Uh, the very first story that you see, and my personal favorite, uh, would be The Blue House by Dilman Dila. Um, this one punches you right in the heart and just doesn't stop, in my opinion. Um, there is a character, kind of B70, who is doing some research uh, on ancient human civilizations, because this is well in the future, uh, and notices a little blue house and has to know what's in there. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's quite good. <laughs> um, IRL by Stephen Barnes, um, where everything has just gone horribly wrong. The world is destitute. Plague has um, taken most of us. Uh, but our main character, you know, governments are run by corporations and everything, everything horrible that could possibly happen happens. But our main character, Garrett, lives like a king in his virtual reality. Uh, and this is an interesting look at, uh, you know, this kind of genre of living another life uh, through virtual reality. And then another, my probably my second favorite story, The Deification of Igodo. Uh, this is by Joshua Uchene um, Omenga, Joshua Uchene Omenga, and uh, this is a really cool story that feels like a traditional folk tale um, about a, a hero named Igodo, uh, and once he saves the day many times, um, his ego gets the best of him, and he has to suffer the consequences for his uh, avarice and all that <laughs> that entails. Um, and it is quite quite interesting to see uh, what he does when he is face to face with, um, I don't know, an immovable object, uh, so to speak. All the stories are going to appeal to somebody. Those are my five favorites. I hope that you will check it out and find something that you enjoy. I think it's a really cool um, idea, uh, and I, I think it's a really cool book that these um, different authors who are African or African diaspora have been uh, brought together and uh, edited and 
put in place to, you know, sort of weave you through different emotions. Sometimes you feel sad, sometimes you get some feelings of happiness, sometimes you're horrified. Um, you know, uh, I would like to know what you think of uh, this collection, and I hope that you check it out if you haven't already. Um, thank you.